buried in plain sight. That's what the researcher who discovered the forgotten Zion Cemetery says of another possible cemetery at King High School in Tampa. 10 News reporter Emerald Morrow sat down with a man who explains how he helped unearth one of the biggest mysteries in the city. First, it was uncovering Zion Cemetery here at Robles Park Village. And just 15 minutes away, another cemetery believed to be lost or even worse, a race on or near the property at King High School. Have you ever noticed when somebody cuts a tree down, uh, professional, they never cut it at the ground. Making it easy for someone to mistake this for a stump. So I just started scratching around. That type of curiosity helped Ray Reed make two of the area's darkest discoveries, lost cemeteries hiding in plain sight. He died February 16, 1944. For years, Ray has been searching property records and death certificates online, certificates naming cemeteries that were no longer around, depending on who you ask. What kind of humans are we if we can't even respect and honor our own dead? A question Ray kept asking. His answers led to Zion and then Ridgewood, the suspected black cemetery at King High. The school district says there are conflicting records about the cemetery, but Ray feels confident it's there. Both of those deeds have uh, disclosures about the cemetery being on that property, not near that property on that property. Property Ray says must be made whole right away if there are still souls resting underground. My God, we treated folks like they were nothing in life and in death, they're worse than that, they're, they're, they're landfill. What the hell kind of human beings were we and are we gonna be if we don't do something about it? Ray Reed says these two aren't the only cemetery still hiding in plain view. He says he's working to expose more to restore honor to those trying to rest in peace.